Jagger. Miss Connor to get up of three people on the on the watch in the class. Nga Jagger attend the Katope Kikafa Kalero, whereby who is a barista <coughs> and what do baristas do? You get it? Because uh, we are having yes. a challenge whereby yeah. many bosses, many people call me or they text me and they're like, what is a barista mm. supposed to do? My barista is disturbing me. He's serving me poor quality coffee. He doesn't know how to serve. His uh, communication skills are very poor. You get it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, I really want this to be a very quick uh, class whereby it's going to be an open discussion. <laughs> right. What we're going to start is uh, at least we're going to use 30 seconds each whereby I want uh, John to first tell us what do you understand by who is a barista? That a barista okay. is the person okay. who prepares, who prepares and generally serves coffee based drinks. Okay. That's what I can say on a barista. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Charles, uh, what you're saying? Uh, a barista, for me, what okay. I know on my desk is a barista is a person who can prepare a drink and serve it and have a knowledge to operate the coffee machine, the coffee machines and to know how to calibrate the grinder. Okay. Okay, that's yeah. good. Uh, basically with me, I can uh, general, generalize it to a barista is a person who brews, yes. okay? Yeah. Yes. Uh, basically, a barista is a person who can who, who brews or makes any beverage that comes across his way. But basically, we are specialized or we are specified with the coffee beverages or coffee drinks. That includes the hot uh, and the cold what and the cold beverages. So generally, it's a person who works or serves drinks behind the bar. You get it. Uh, I think uh, we should welcome our other part participant behind uh, Charles's back. Yeah? <laughs> how are you, madam? <laughs> Fine, sir. How are you? I'm um, okay. What's your name? Esther. Oh, nice meeting you, Esther. Welcome to our class. Nice eh? meeting you, too. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, basically, then, the other thing is uh, we have two types of baristas. Yeah. You get it. We have a barista yes. who makes coffee and who makes beverages. Then we have the other barista mm -hmm. who is a lawyer. They sound the same, but the spellings are different. Did you know that? Oh, no, I don't know that one. It's new to me. <laughs> it's new I, to I, me. I wasn't. <laughs> no one knew about that. So uh, we have a barista of course. who is us, that is B A. R I S T A. Then the other barrister mm -hmm. who is a lawyer who works in the court session, it's B A double R I S T E R. He's also called a barrister. So uh, since we've tackled mm -hmm. the barrister section, then we need to outline yes. uh, what are we supposed to do as barristers. So it's going to be an open discussion whereby four of us we shall be sharing different uh, things that we are supposed to do while at the bar. A barista, a barista is supposed to, to take orders from the customer after okay. taking an order. Mm. He or she is supposed to steam to do the steaming. Okay. After the steaming, do the art, then okay. after and mm. serve the drink. Oh, thank you. That is very nice of you. Uh, Mr. John. A barista should be able to write the express machine. Uh, should be able to do what? To operate express machine. To operate an espresso machine. Huh? Yeah. Uh, what of Mr. Charles? Uh, a barista, his role is to, to prepare the order from the customer. Okay. Whatever what customer, what whatever the customer is where is he's requested or she, mm. you need to prepare for him or for her, because uh, it now, will be 
without um, maybe cough machine or more heaters like such any kind of order. Okay. And now let me ask you, Mr. Charles, what are the things that you do when you are at your ship? Let me say you arrived at okay. your ship. Okay. okay. On my shift, first of first of first of foremost, I have to check my machine. It is okay. in which condition. Because okay. you need to find your working place. Is the working the machine is in the good condition or errors, you know? Okay. Then I have to check the water the one I use in my coffee machine, because once it has no order, it will not operate very well. Okay. Then from there, mm. yes, I start as a, like, when I have a customer came, I need, if it depends, like if you have a waiter or a waitress, okay. I will not go outside to take an order. Of course. But once I'm around, I go outside and take an order, then I go. For the All right. That's it. Okay. So uh, basically, let me say you've gone for an interview, or you are in a meeting of a different pers uh, different personnel who deal in coffees, and they get to ask you such a question: What is the role of a barista? Uh, there are basic notes that we are supposed to tackle, or basic points that we are supposed to give out as we baristas. You get it? Right. Yes. Uh, so first and foremost is like, uh, if uh, you get to ask me that question, I'll be like, uh, the purpose of the barista first thing is I am going to tackle what that person expects out of me. Is brewing or yes. making any kind of beverage, especially the coffee beverages. Yes. You get it. Yes. Then after doing that, I have to make sure that my, my other role or what I'm supposed to do, I am supposed to prepare my station so that it helps me out in a good service when I start my ship. Station preparation. Yes. You get it. Like you say that when you reach, yeah, those are basic points yeah. or bas basic parts yeah, yeah. That, you, that you're supposed to tackle. You need, yes. So after doing that, uh, all the calibration, all the testing, all the uh, different things that you're supposed to do uh, before you sell your beverages Start. to the customers, we call it preparation. All right. You get it. Then the other thing uh, yeah. is that uh, we are supposed to educate customers about the coffee and the other drinks that we are supposed to sell. You get it to create awareness because yes. there's a customer who is going to come to you and that customer is going to ask, I want a cappuccino. That customer is not yeah. asking because he or she has tested the cappuccino, but it's because they recommended the cappuccino to that person. Yeah. So how are you going to recommend that cappuccino to the person? She, he or she is new to the coffee. How are you going to recommend that? You get it. So you are trying to market yeah. the mm -hmm. cappuccino. You get it. Even you know, like yes. Yeah. So like I think maybe some customers mm. they ask something like, for example, they can ask a cappuccino, mm. and yet they like uh, they expect it to be like some sugar inside. Mm. You know, mm. for them they knew they come when they knew that cappuccino only the name cappuccino. For, okay. Then for you after preparing for him or for her that drink. Okay. Then later she realized that maybe she's she's not the, no one, sugar. the one she needs. Yeah. Okay. So, so it needs at least at least she needs to explain for them. Maybe what to to make to be sure that maybe their orders they need is the right order. Now, uh, I think that is a role of a barrister whereby if a client gets to complain about the drink that you're serving to them, why doesn't my cappuccino yeah. have sugar? It's your role to tell them that no, uh, no, madam or sir, the right recipe of a cappuccino, it doesn't contain sugar. But if you ask for sugar yeah. next time, I will do what? I I'll place the sugar into your, what? Into your cappuccino. Or yeah. I can easily recommend you to having a Spanish latte or those hot uh, drinks that are sweet for the yeah. customer to like your coffee next time. Or still, you can take yeah. away that beverage then you get to serve another coffee that has sugar. You get it. It's very easy to play okay. with the customer once you understand yeah. uh, what you are serving. 
Then the other yeah. thing, uh, basically, we are supposed to sell coffee machines and any other coffee equipment, just in case you have a coffee shop. And uh, yes. let me say your boss decided to put uh, different craft uh, brews or machines that we can easily sell to our customers or clients. You get it? Mm -hmm. It's the purpose of yeah. the barista to sell it. Let me say a customer and a chemist, but they don't know how yeah. to use it. You are supposed to sell off that what? That product. Then uh, the other thing, we as barristers, we are supposed to be waiters and waitresses. Yes. You get it? Because yes. uh, yeah. a waiter can't explain the coffee to a customer like you, the barista. Yes. 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 You get it. So some customers are very complicated and they want the person who made that drink to do what? To be serving it to that person uh, you get it so basically then the other thing uh, we barristers are in charge of hygiene when we talk about hygiene remember this is the number one factor in the hotel industry that covers every worker in a restaurant in a hotel in a cafe hygiene is the number one criteria uh, every person is supposed to hold into them you're supposed to be clean your pictures are clean, the environment you're working, because even a customer can uh, easily see the preparation place or where you're working from, it's dirty. Then they get the other, uh, having a negative thought about your drinks. Okay. Yeah, so we're supposed to be in charge of this, cleaning, our sanitization, and the different things. Some of us barristers are so proud that we don't want to clean what we use, and we leave it to the janitors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> That's why they yeah, say but... barista to you know to gezi gezi. You get it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not good at all. Yeah, it's not good because uh sometimes we want to take off that luxury to show other people that I'm a barista. That means I'm head mm. of you, which is not good. Then um uh the other thing, uh we are supposed to receive and process. Sometimes payments, just in case you yes. are there. Let me say you are two cashiers in a coffee shop. Yes. Receiving and processing the customer's payment, that means that one customer can receive the order. Sorry, one barista. Yes. And the other one works on the other what? On the other orders. Then still, uh, uh, we are supposed to clean the service area and the sitting areas so that Customers don't find our places that. But you're going to find yes. that some barristers don't do that. <laughs> because, because they don't hire them to be clean. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Uh, let me tell you something. Yeah. Uh, when my boss hires me and he tells yes. me that since you are the barrister, you are in charge of that place. Yeah. Of oh. course, everything within that environment, it covers on me. It's my duty to do what? To make sure that everything is in place. When you work in a, 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 a restaurant or a hotel, yeah, that, that's however, the question is coming to you. However much, however much you find a, a manager there, yes, and there is a head chef. People respect the head yes. chef more than the the what the the manager. The, yeah. So now the head chef in the cafe is the barista. Is a, is a barista. You get it. Yes. So yes. if you say that I wasn't employed to do this and this and this, then trust me, you are going to fall off the hook and you're really going to miss out a lot. Because in most cases, barristers are made supervisors, barristers are made managers, and uh, different positions are given to barristers because of our intelligence. Mm, yeah. You get it. Yeah, then... Yeah. Uh, uh, the last thing with me, we are supposed to receive, uh, we, we, we are supposed to cross-check with our stock, receive and order the stock. Order. Yes. You understand my point, point Mr. John? Eh? Yes. yes. So mm, we are supposed to, well. yeah, we are supposed to do that because uh, I remember when I just joined my company, uh, my manager used to tell me that start receiving orders, receive orders, take stop checking, stop checking. I used to refuse, but I give it a time whereby 
when I don't order, when I don't cross check, and uh, yes, it comes for a client or a customer to ask for something and it's out of stock. So, the man, <laughs> the, the boss is going to look at me. You get it? And I'm really going yeah. to feel guilty. Because you are, yeah. You, yeah. Because it's your role. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I will feel guilty due to the fact that the customer is asking for this and I don't have it. Yes. So that is a loss that is going to be made by the what? By the uh, by the company. Okay. Then uh, still under that, there are qualities that a barista is supposed to have while working in a public place. Because remember, all baristas work in public places. We are not like uh, other sectors whereby they have to hide behind the scene, then the waiters have to yeah. serve. Yes. You get it? So uh, basically, yeah. Uh, there are things that we are supposed to possess to have a smooth running as we baristas. You get it? Uh, I, I think I'll, I listed some down. I'll quickly yes. revise them through then uh, at least you have a glimpse of what you are supposed to do the next day in the ship. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, at least uh, we are supposed to have a great communication skill. When we talk about communication skill, this is either verbal, yeah. written, or the gesture that we post to the clients or the team members. You get my point? Yeah, yeah, yeah we get you. Then after the yeah. communication skills, we are supposed to be happy and friendly. Because uh, yes. no one is going to remember when customers come to, uh, to the cafes or you know, the different places yeah. we work, they expect yeah. a different environment. To Someone might leave home when they're annoyed, the wife or the husband yeah. has made that person <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> and you really need to find a smiling face. Someone who's really yeah. going to recommend you something beautiful. Yeah, that's you true. get my point. Then the other thing yeah. is we, we are supposed to attain yeah. good customer serving skills. How do you recommend, how do you create a rapport with your customer or the client so that they can leave the place happy? So that yeah. when it comes to the next day, they don't look for another cafe, but they have to come back because of Barrister Charles, yeah. Barrister John, or Madam Esther. You get it? Yes. So uh, we are yeah. supposed to also accommodate that. Then we have to also pay attention to detail. Sometimes we have to be very, very sensitive when it comes to that drinks that we are serving. It may not only be drinks, but even the cakes. You might serve a, a cake that is expired to a client. Yes. They are going to look at yeah. you. They are not going to look at any other person. Yeah, because we are, I understand so this one. Paying attention to detail. You might serve a cappuccino. A fly falls into the cappuccino. You won't see it. It's covered with a cloth. Then the client brings it back. <laughs> <laughs> You get it? Yeah, we get it, sir. Uh, then uh, I had a challenge whereby different barristers have experienced some of the barristers that, that have trained physically. I don't know why we barristers have a tendency. We don't want to learn something new from the new from the old people we've found in a place. You understand my point? Yeah. Because you know why 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 is it like that? You know, maybe everyone need to keep him himself on the top. So when you say that I can learn from this one, maybe to different mm. ideas, you can say maybe some of them they took it for granted. Maybe they need to pull them down. That's it. only that's the problem to my to my side. I think so. No, but it's not only that. Cause uh, yes, sometimes you have to accept that you are in a new place. You are supposed yeah. to adopt the changes that you found there. We are not seeing him. Yeah, uh, the, net, uh, the network. If it is not there. Can you see me now? No, no we can see you. Yes. Okay, it was the network. You know, the, the student you need to <laughs> the student you need to the master in the class. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm using oh, uh, I'm using a laptop, so I think uh, it's the network issue, the connection between the laptop and the phone. Eh? Yeah. 
So uh, if you find if you've been using a certain gram to serve in your yes. previous workplace, when you find yes. a new barista in that working place or the new working environment, the barista is using 20 grams. He mm. trains you, he tells you that you are supposed to use these grams. And the next day yes. you, you are going to find that barista using 15 grams. You get it. And when you get to ask yeah. the barista, why are you using this? He's going to tell you, no, this is our basic. Yeah, because I think what I what I know is I'm sorry to interrupt you. Okay. Every every coffee shop or every restaurant or any yeah. kind of that business, they have their standards. Yeah, that's what we call a uh, recipe. Yeah, recipes. They have their they recipes. have their own recipes. So some baristas really find it a challenge to adopt the new recipe. Yeah. They really find it as a challenge to adopt. And uh, this is really a problem to the uh, coffee shop owners whereby they really give you different calls complaining about the baristas you try to recommend, the new baristas yeah. or the different people that are trying to, failing to, to give, change to yeah. the new environment. So we need that's to have at least... <laughs> that's the challenge. That's the challenge when Damkesta always faces. Because like, before she had the anal, uh, their previous job and she, okay. she went to another one. Okay. But their, their recipes are totally different. Yeah, but then, sometimes, uh, <laughs> Madam Esther, what you, what you need to do yes. is to first accept and learn the new thing. You get it? Mm -hmm. Once you learn yeah. the new, once you get to learn the new thing, accept it at heart that you've learned this is their standard. This is what they're supposed to do. So at least try to adopt. After two months, then tell them that let's try out this. Can we try out this together? Then you never know. The manager will try to adopt what uh, the new recipe that you have for them in stock. Yeah. And once they uh -huh. get to accept it. Give it your give it your mm. own name so that you, you leave the tag that okay, that was my recipe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that is how we, that, that's how it works. You get it. So uh, that mm. takes us to another point whereby you should be you should be adaptable to change and embrace new ideas. So it has covered the two points. You get it, huh? Yeah. Then, uh, uh, I have, excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt you. No I problem. Have one question I need, I need to ask. Okay. You know, here, some people they call it the, they need a specialty barristers. Okay. Uh, okay. So when you reach to their stores, what they call mm. a specialty is a commercial coffees. Only, I don't know what they understand, what's the meaning of specialty ones. They, they want a so specialty barrister. Yes. Special is when yeah. Special yes, specialty baristas. Okay, Maybe now when you do it. Yeah. Now there is no specialty barista and there is no commercial barista. You know what they okay. say? Or you know what we they have? Mean? They say we have new baristas, intermediate baristas, and head yes. baristas. You get it? Yes. So what makes a person a specialty barista? Mm -hmm. Okay, you remember the points that we've been talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the points that make you a specialty barrister, whereby you have a sense of responsibility. Yes. You can easily, you, can, you know how to test coffee, you know how to calibrate, yes. you know the steps yes. through which you are supposed to store your coffee. Mm -hmm. Your working yes. environment is always clean. Your yes. boss yes. can easily lean on you even if, He's not around, even if the manager is not there or he's there, he's always like, you know what, Charles, you know what, John, I trust yeah. you when you're in my coffee shop. Yeah. You get my point. And, uh, and, uh, yes, and another thing, some of yeah. them, they need like specialty coffees. Uh, no, there is specialty yeah. coffee and, and there is commercial coffee, okay? Yeah. The, the, the processes are different. Even if I have, yeah. I can have, Two Ugandan coffees from the same yes. garden, dug by the same farmer. But what makes one commercial and what makes one specialty? 
when it comes to these processes, remember we have washed process, uh, semi-washed, we have dry or natural process, and many other processes of harvesting. You get it? When these red ripe cherries are ready for harvesting, when one gets the red ripe cherries using the hand picking, I pick one by one by one from the garden yes. or from the tree, and I get to soak mm. them. After soaking them, I skim off the unwanted beans. You get it? Mm. Mm. After yeah. skimming them off, then I choose which process am I going to uh, yes. make my coffee or which process am I going to use? So if I use yeah. the, hand, the hand stripping, the hand stripping can also be the same, whereby I, I strip off all the beans, the unwanted and the wanted beans, and I get to skim them off. So I, I get to put the beans. So when I get to skim mm. them off, Oyokofi Abasigadeo, farmer over a Mokuta Tia or Mutua Lapaka who was tree. You get it? Yeah. So, especially to coffee, bamu kwata with care. Then commercial coffee, you know, we I remove uh, defects. Uh, still Arabic, Arabic has a specific uh, specialty in a robusta, so a better specialty. The library has a better specialty. Specialty. Now, that is on a still this over a commercial. You get it. So, processing yeah, tea. But, but my question is. Like, mm. Yes, I'm like, like, in, oh, I got the to channelizing, but like, this, uh, like, the challenge we face this side there. Eh? Mm. Some people, like Enzo Gamba, he need a barista who can make a specialty coffees. You Auntie Tati, yeah, a barista who makes specialty coffees is a barista who can run a machine, an espresso machine. Yeah. Yes. Is a barista who can make craft brews. Okay. Yes. Mm. Is a barista as of all of taking care of the place, not multitasking. Okay, you get it. Now, to be not sang a barista, nanga barista, or gain the work of a name about for a view of you and now a coffee. Now, Moman Siramuna Gamba, a more barista. You get yes. my point, yes. <laughs> so, Katron, all you all you put a Speciality barista, can you test coffee well? Can you understand that this coffee is defected? Can you run this machine? Even if you can't mm. uh, repair the machine, but can you easily sense the problem with the machine? Yes. You understand my point. So yeah, that I makes understand. you the yeah, that makes you a specialty barista. Okay. Is it okay? That's okay. It's fine. So, uh, that's where our speciality Sorry. baristas come in from. Yeah, I, I test. Sorry? <laughs> that is where our speciality baristas come in. Okay. <laughs> no, it's like okay. for us, you know, like, you know, this, this local of the sides, the horizon, okay. there you say, I need a speciality barista. When you eat mm. there, then mm. they say, can you make for me this one cappuccino? For them, they, I think they cram that word, the speciality one. They oh. need speciality as well. Only no, I think know. that is just a term used to tease yeah. someone. You get it? Yeah. yeah. They just tease a person. So they just want to see, are you confident enough to accept mm. what they have called you? For me, like one day, I face a challenge. Okay. Okay. Like the one madam who calls me, then she told me that I need a she calls speciality you barista. She calls me, she runs me and she told me that she needed a specialty barista. I said, okay, yes, I am. Then she told okay. me, can you send me to your work? I okay. sent her my latte art. Okay. Then she said, no, I knew. I didn't ask you to send me your latte art. Okay. Then she told me, yes, okay, I'm sorry for that. Mm. You're talking about V60 and this, okay, future the coffees. Then mm. she said, yes. I said, okay, I can make it. Then she, she, she asked me, uh, how many grams of coffee for siphon, mm, which procedures, mm. like that. Mm. Then I explained to her. And because but by the, by the time I have where I'm working for, so just okay. like. <laughs> So uh, basically with that, I think uh, 
to me, basically, that is those are the points that I had for the day. At least I wanted to sensitize about who a barrister is, what what our, our ethics and norms, as in what what is necessary for you to have to be a barrister. Then uh, what are your responsibilities as a barrister, or the roles that you're supposed to do when you are the what when you are the chef? Yeah, you get so, it. Yes, I get it. And uh, another challenge sometimes we face is okay. some customers, they came to you and they said they need extra hot. Okay. You know, extra. Mm. Mm. So when you steam the milk, when you put it the maximum, like our degrees is 60, 75 maximum. Okay. But for them, they need more extra. So what can we do on that issue? I uh, know. Uh, with that first, I would advise you to tell your boss to buy you a thermometer. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Then, uh, the other thing, there is a video I recorded about steaming. And I told yes, that... I was, uh, I was live on that video. Okay. You I was like, yeah. you see these three because fingers. You, I'm sorry for that. You know, okay. I asked this question because I was watching on that video. But okay. our colleagues here, they didn't watch that video. So that's why- Me, I, I didn't watch the video. Yeah, that's why I asked that question. But for me, I knew because mm. you teach me on that video on YouTube. Okay, so uh, basically the way how you get to understand the temperatures, we use this, me, me generally, I use these three fingers, okay? Yes. This is yes. 30 degrees, this yes. is 60 degrees, and this is 90 yes. degrees. Yes. You get it? Because if you're Maybe, you, you're okay. going to burn your soul. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Andrew, mm. can you demonstrate when you are touching on that? Uh, this cup? Your cup? Yes. So, because uh, so that they can be seen. Can you see the, yes. that? Yeah? Yes. Now, uh, basically, when I'm steaming, let me say, when this finger, when I raise this finger, when it has started to become hot, that is 30 yeah. degrees. Okay? So when I raise this finger, that is the normal temperature. The second one. You get it? Yeah, you get it. So yes, I get. what you should know, Arabs or people in the in this side, the Arabs, yes. they like very, very hot. So sometimes when I steam, I remove this, I remove this. Then once I remove this, basically that means it's 80 it's or 90 hot. degrees. Delicious. You get it. So yes. yeah, it's extra yeah. hot. So I use this finger and this finger to hold up because yeah. the heat doesn't reach up. You get it. So yeah. like you see, this is the milk. Yes. When it's hot, the heat won't reach up. So okay. these fingers play that role. But I would advise for the for the start, you ask the boss to buy you a thermometer because yeah. Arabs love that. very very hot drinks. Very hot. Yeah. You yeah. get it. That's it. Yes. So any other question? Mm -hmm. Mr. John? Yes. You have any question? No. Madam, okay. Esther, you have? Maybe she has. <laughs> she has a question. <laughs> Can um, <laughs> Sorry? Sorry? Madam Esther, any other question? I ask later. But yeah, we are saying, yeah. <laughs> we are saying yeah, we're, we're trying to wind up. Then at least, uh, in fact, uh, do we have any suggestions on what next video should be all about? Mm. Oh, uh, in the next video, what I will do, I think uh, we should... Uh, Put on WhatsApp, I think so. Yeah, we, we shall write on WhatsApp, but uh, my recommendation is all about calibration, how a person can easily calibrate to have a nice, perfect test of a coffee. Uh, yeah. Uh, the other time, uh, uh, in the first video, I tried connecting, but people were jumping off. Off. I think it was my network. Maybe so next network. time, I'll make sure that the network is okay. Okay. My last question is, okay. uh, we have our 
to color. You have a what? Uh, like we have our drinks like a piccolo, but the challenge we have, mm. our froth of the Americ, mm. a foam, let me say a foam. Mm. Some of them, they said they needed too much foam. Some of them, they need less foam. Mm. So what's the, the perfect foam that we needed to use on that cup? And now, uh, generally, it's very hard to measure foam. It's very hard yeah. to measure foam generally you get it because yeah. you'll find that when i am making a latte a cafe latte for a client and this is my picture yes i'll pour milk up yeah. to here because i want the microphone yeah. to be up to here it's just a short distance like two centimeters you get it yes then when i want to make a cappuccino because i want a very nice latte art i'll pour my milk halfway then i'll make yes. sure that I steam the cloth up to like four mm -hmm. centimeters. Yes. You get it. So that I make nice latte art. But when it comes to those small, uh, when it comes to those small drinks, I would advise you like uh, the piccolo or the cortado, make a moderate, uh, make a moderate what? Flow. Like you see the cappuccino, it takes it a ratio of one out. to one yeah. to one. I'll put it up. Yes. Yeah, yes, or yes, some, yes, or some Langa, uh, uh, ratio is one to one to one. The cloth and uh, the cloth, the milk and the coffee. It's a ratio of one to one. Now I let the cloth be very yes. small. The cloth can be very small. You get it. Then uh, in those small drinks, the cloth is always much in a uh, in a macchiato. Mm. That is when the cloth is much. Hmm? Is much. The floor. Okay, for me, I understand. Yes, the floor. But you know, the challenge we face, like for me, to me, this one is happening to me. Okay. You can serve a customer at that uh, piccolo, piccolo drink. Okay. Yet some of them, they need too much foam. Too much foam. Yes. Uh, no, then I think, uh, I think sometimes like, for like, like they need like a foam, like let me say for cappuccino. You see, uh, customers are complicated. You, you just have to understand your customers. You know that, okay, yeah. this time he has asked for clothes. So when you see him the next time, do the what? Yeah. Do the perfect or the same <laughs> reason he asks for. You get it? Okay. Those customers are complicated. Just, just follow your standard for the cafe. Yes. So when a customer asks, then you're like, ah, this is our standard for the cafe. But just in case you have your own standard, let's follow that. Okay. All right. You get it. I get it. All right. So I think uh, basically that is it for today. And I really appreciate Thank everyone you. who has attended. Most of them tried, but Thank the you for network your... was really poor. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you for so your much. time. All right. You're welcome. Thank you too. Have a good night. Eh? Good night, night you. All right, see you. Just big up, continue. All right, no Mr. Thank John, you. good night. <laughs> he's off. He's off. <laughs> yeah, I think he's off. <laughs> okay, thank you all so right. much. Thank you too. All right, all right, all right. Okay, John, John is coming back. Ah, let me say hi. Let me say good night to him. Okay, let me see. He's trying to connect. Uh, he's here. Let me see where is he. Uh, Mr. John, oh, we yes, had some sir. up. Is there? <laughs> we are summing up, bro. <laughs> Mr. John's good night, bro. Mm -hmm. Likewise, bro. All right, John. See you. See you. See you in another session. I think it's a weekly session. I'll be posting in the group eh, to tell you when. When? We. It's a weekly it's session. Okay. okay. Next okay. Wednesday. It's no Wednesday. Yeah, next Wednesday. I'll be forming you because uh, we change programs. So I'll, I'll yeah. tell you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll when change. you change the program, you just let us know. No problem. All right. Have Let's a good night. See it because it's too, it's late. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. <laughs> All right.